Hello and welcome. Great to have you with us here at Lakeside Stadium in Melbourne for this round 11 clash in the W League with Melbourne Victory hosting Canberra United. These two sides today, though, come into this one from rather different perspectives. Melbourne Victory won just one of their five opening matches. And they've now won three on the trot, while Canberra won three of their first six, but now have lost three consecutive games by four goals to nil. Are you playing against, you know, not against Laura Brock, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of experience in Laura Brock, so she'll she'll probably take the has taken the first 20 minutes of this game to settle into it. But and Jenkins with time now. Darren Jenkins on the far side. It goes over the top, headed down by Rosie Sutton. Just goes wide. Sham Carmus's goal. Well, that was promising from the victory. The American League can be quite direct. Um, they play quite direct football and, and we see that translate a little bit into the W League at times and that may have something to do with the fact that we do have a lot of US players coming out to play with us and, and a lot of our girls playing in the US League. But uh, from, from all I've seen so far and um, in the FAWSL, it's, it's a true step above um, most other leagues in the, in the world at the moment. The class is just unbelievable. Jenkins in, she's got Melina Ayres there, and that is the opening goal. Melina Ayres with her first goal for Melbourne Victory this season puts the home side ahead. Melbourne Victory leading 1-0 at Lakeside Stadium. With the wind, it depends on, on the style, but also the strength of the wind at the moment. The wind's quite, quite mild, so it potentially could play an advantage to Canberra. Um, we see Casey Dumont playing off her line quite frequently, so it could potentially provide an opportunity for long shot, long range shots from Canberra, but uh, I can't imagine they're gonna change the way that they're playing too much. Victory happy to push it around the back line now from Beard to Ayres. Goal scorer pushes back in, was hoping to find Longo. Oh, it is Longo that runs away with it. Beard comes down to help. Oh, goes over the top and Natasha Dow is there, flicks it round, Ayres again! She has two. Melina Ayres has a double. Oh, that is an extraordinary way for her to open her account this season. Melina Ayres with a brace here at Lakeside Stadium. Need the shouted instructions from Jeff Hopkins on the far side. It's uh, curled in quite nicely. Jenkins again there. Cleared by Price. And that's dropped very nicely for Simone Charlie, who's now in a foot race with Angie Beard. Still Charlie manages to evade Beard. Yeah, it's a great run here from Simone Charlie and a great opportunity. We've seen her score a few of those off her left boot. Colville. It's her pass to Charlie intercepted by Beard. Oh, and that's nice. And Beard for Natasha Dowie. Chance here for Dowie. Makes no miss. Yes, she does. <laughs> I thought that was in. It's come off the back stanchion. Norwegian runs forward, let go by Camilla, and they two be picked up by Angie Beard, who's streaming forward. She's got Rosie Sutton calling for the ball on this side. Dowie more centrally. Ops for Dowie. Well, Dowie tries to cut back once again. It's off the advertising hoardings. Potentially, it could have been another goal for victory. Back into play now for the short corner. Popped over the top, and this time it is there for Natasha Dowie. That goal has been coming for 76 minutes, and finally, finally, she has the ball in the back of the net. That is there. Is there a chance for Melbourne victory to get one more goal? Shane Palmer saves their blushes once again. How good would that have been if Doran could have got a goal to, to cap off a great performance coming off the bench? Absolutely, although wonderful for Doran. Uh, insult to injury for Canberra United. It finished Melbourne victory three, Canberra United nil.